Street this morning. It's about the commodity super cycle and it's entitled Why the Commodity Super Cycle Was a Myth. Nothing is permanent in commodity markets. That is as true on the way down as on the way up, but falling commodity prices are a cheering reminder that, in a phrase Simon used as the title of his 1981 book, human inspiration is the ultimate resource. We have Dr. Jacob Frankel with us, Chairman Jacob Morgan Chase, former governor of the Bank of Israel. Is the world running out of resources? No. The world is not running out of resources because as long as there are innovations and improved technologies that, that are causing, toward, causing new approaches, that are using less intensive commodities maybe or more intensive depending on prices, then the incentive systems will work itself through. The most important element today that is underlying the developments in commodity markets is the is in China. China's growth is reduced. China's economic strategy recognizes that they need to move to what they call the new normal, namely more services and less manufacturing. And they're doing that with all the devaluation of the yuan and so forth. What next must China do? It seems to be sort of uh, flailing at this point. Well, to begin with, uh, in order to assess China, you really need to have a medium term perspective. It's not a one-shot event. They are changing the entire structured strategy of their economic system. The move towards services, the move towards away from the traditional industries, less energy, less cement, that's causing a decline in the economy. And by the same token, the reservoir for the future is huge. There is now still 50% of the population is still in the rural area. They will be moving over time or moved to the urban area and we will see eventually this is the main engine that will continue. Can, can we just rip up the show today and go six hours with you? Can we, are you doing anything before lunch? <laughs> well, let's Jake, go for lunch. Jacob Frankel, <laughs> Jacob Frankel with us at J.P. Morgan International.